Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing and freezing issue with the dark pictures house of ashes game on your computer. Now the first step is to close steam. So if the steam is running, go ahead and close it, exit and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go ahead and launch steam and then try to launch the game once again. Now the second step is to disconnect all the external devices and USB devices from your computer and then try to launch the game. So if you have any external devices connected to the computer, go ahead and disconnect it and also disconnect all the USB devices and then try to launch the game. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, go ahead and allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. In case if you're using Windows security, in that case, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Go to update and security. If you have Windows 10, if you have Windows 11, click on privacy and security. And then click on Windows security. And then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down here, you can see ransomware protection. Click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access, then click on yes to allow. And then click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. And then go to the game installation folder. So in your case, it might be in C drive. So open program files x86, then open the Steam folder. Then open the Steam apps folder. Now open common folder. Over here, you will find the game, uh, game folder. In my case, it's in D drive. So open Steam folder, Steam apps common. And then open the game folder over here. And then select the game exe file and then click on open again click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps this time open the smg025 folder then open the binaries folder then open win64 folder select the exe file click on open and now try to launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so go to steam make a right click on the game Select manage then click on browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder. Make a right click on the game exe file. Select properties. Go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Then click on apply. OK. And then try to launch the game from here. So instead of launching the game from Steam, try to launch the game from here. Just make a double click and launch the game. Now the next step is to run in compatibility run the game in compatibility mode for this make a right click on the game exe file and then click on troubleshoot compatibility and then go ahead and try recommended settings and then click on test the program and then you can go ahead and check now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have an amd card go to amd website so I'm showing for NVIDIA. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to NVIDIA website. Here is, you can go ahead and select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select the right operating system over here and then click on start search. Now you can scroll down here. You can see GeForce game ready driver. You have to go ahead and click on get download. Right now the current version is 496.13. So click on get download, run the exe file, then you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue, then put a check on the box which says custom. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Put a check over here first, then click on next. And after the installation, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to, is actually for Windows N edition user. So if you have Windows 10 N edition, in that case, you can go ahead and install media feature pack. So if you have an edition, only then this step will work. So install media feature pack for this. Go to the start menu, click on settings and then click on apps. Then click on optional features. And then click on add a feature. Now over here, go ahead and type in media feature pack. Now, when I type in media feature pack, I don't see media feature pack in the list over here because I have Windows 10 home. So if you have Windows 10 N edition, you will find media feature uh, feature pack over here. So once you type in media feature pack in, in the search box over here, you should be able to see media feature pack like this. 
when you type in over here. And then you have to put a check on this box, which says media feature pack. And then on the bottom, you will see the install option. So you have to go ahead and click on install. And after the install, restart a computer and then try to launch the game. Now, in case if you have Windows version, which is below 1903. So for this, you can go ahead and type in run in Windows search box. And then in the run box over here, you can go ahead and type in Winver, that is W-I-N-V-E-R. And then click on OK. Here you will be able to see which version you have. Right now, in my case, it's 21H1. In your case, it might be something different. So if it's below 1903, then you go ahead and copy this link. And then over here, you can go ahead and select your version that is 1903 or 1809. You can go ahead and select confirm. So select your version and then click on confirm and then download and install the media feature pack and then restart a computer and then try to launch the game. The next step is to install Visual C++ file for this. Copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. You have to go ahead and download both x86 and x64. Leave this ERM x86 and x64. So click on both the exe file and then run this both the exe file run x86 and x64 version. Click on repair. on yes to allow and then run the second exe file click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow and let both the installation complete now once both the installation is complete you can go ahead and click on restart and restart the computer and after the system restart you can go ahead and try to launch the game now the next step is for laptop users with dual graphic card so if your computer came with dual graphic card make sure that you are running the game on the dedicated graphic card now for this go ahead and type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse and go to the game installation folder steam folder steam apps common then open the game folder and then select the game exe file then click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance over here and then click on save and then try to launch the game the next step is to perform clean boot for this go ahead and type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services now first of all put a check over here first then click on disable all in my case disable all is grayed out because i already did it so once you put a check over here then click on disable all then click on apply then click on ok then you will see the restart option restart your computer and then launch the game the next step is to disable steam overlay so to disable steam overlay go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game also uncheck this box which says steam cloud and then try to launch the game now if in case if you have any other overlay application running in the computer go ahead and close all the overlay application so if you have discord running on the computer go ahead and close discord now if you have geforce experience running on the computer go ahead and close geforce experience these are overlay applications so if you have any other overlay application go ahead and close it also do not overclock close all the overclocking applications so if you have msi afterburner running go ahead and close it now in case if you have revert unit running go ahead and close revert unit also close all the background applications. So if you have any other background application running on the computer, go ahead and close everything. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running. Rest you go ahead and close everything, including all the browsers. Now the next step is to verify the game files. For this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. And after the verification, try to launch the game. Now the next step is to update windows to the latest version for this go to the start menu click on settings click on update and security and then click on check for update and once the update is installed restart your computer and then launch the game. Also try to launch the game in window mode and try to lower down graphics settings. Go to settings and then go to graphics settings. So before you go to graphics, you can go to display and if HDR is on, go ahead and turn off HDR and then go back and then go to graphics. Now if quality is set to ultra, you can go ahead and try 
high or maybe medium or even low you can also try to lower down the resolution and then you can go ahead and try to run it in window mode and then turn off the vsync and then scroll down and you can go ahead and set the frame rate to 30 fps and then you can go ahead and apply the settings click on yes and then you can go ahead and launch the game once again and that should definitely improve the performance now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game to a different drive so to uninstall make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall and after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder then restart your computer and after the system restart launch steam and then reinstall the game to a different hard drive so if you have any other hdd or maybe ssd go ahead and try to install the game to a different drive and then launch the game so one of the steps should definitely help you to get the game running on your computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel